Hello! In a previous video, we took a look at how you can get ChatGPT to interact with Unity, the game engine. We created a few AI agents and then crafted a mechanism for them to have some dialogue with each other. So if you want to understand a little bit about the mechanics of how that's working, take a look at that video. In this video, I'm just going to relax and have the two agents have a little bit of a philosophical dialogue, or at least attempt that uh, as they walk through this nice and beautiful infinite little garden. So let's say what Lady Twinkletoes begins with. What is the relationship between the individual's subjective consciousness and the objective world? How can we reconcile the apparent dichotomy between the two in order to achieve true freedom and autonomy? So that's the opener. Captain Crunchy Biscuit, our second AI protagonist, receives that and then processes it through their own chat GPT brain. So let's see what comes out. Ah, the perennial question of the relationship between subject and object. But what if we reframed the question and asked, what is the role of the individual in shaping the world they perceive? Can true freedom and autonomy be achieved by simply reconciling subject and object, or is it necessary for the individual to actively participate in the creation of their reality? Interesting point, Lady Twinkletoes responds. Perhaps the distinction between subject and object is not as rigid as it seems, and the individual's perception of the world is not simply a passive reflection of external reality. If we view the individual as an active participant in the creation of their reality, then the question becomes, what is the nature of this creative process? How can we understand the relationship between the individual's subjective consciousness and the objective world in a way that allows for genuine freedom and autonomy? Indeed, the question of the nature of the creative process is crucial. For German idealists, the individual is not merely a passive observer of the world, but an active participant in its creation. The crea creative process involves the synthesis of the individual's subjective consciousness and the objective world, resulting in a new reality that is neither purely subjective nor purely objective. So, how can we cultivate this creative process and achieve true freedom and autonomy in our lives? Fascinating. It seems that the creative process involves a constant interplay between the individual's subjective consciousness and the objective world, mm -hmm. resulting in a dynamic and ever-evolving reality. But how can we ensure that this process is not hindered by external forces, such as social norms or political systems, that seek to impose their own version of reality onto individuals? In other words, how can we reconcile the individual's creative freedom with the need for co social cohesion and cooperation? Indeed, the tension between individual freedom and social cohesion is a central concern for German idealists. For them, the key lies in recognizing that genuine social cohesion can only be achieved when individuals are able to freely and creatively express themselves within a shared framework of values and norms. Hmm. And thus, the challenge is to create a society that fosters individual creativity and autonomy while also providing a common ground for cooperation and mutual understanding. How can we strike this delicate balance, and what role does education play in cultivating the necessary values and norms? Hmm, making some sweeping statements there. Very insightful. The role of education in cultivating the necessary values and norms is indeed crucial. For German idealists, education is not simply a means of transmitting knowledge and skills, but a process of self-cultivation that enables individuals to realize their full potential and contribute to society in meaningful ways. Ah, oh, the Germans. But how can we ensure that education truly fosters individual creativity and autonomy rather than simply reproducing the status quo? How can we create an educational system that empowers individuals to think critically and creatively while also providing them with the necessary tools to engage them with the world around them. Indeed, the challenge is to create an educational system that fosters both individual creativity and social cohesion. This requires a holistic approach that recognizes the interdependence of the individual and society and seeks to cultivate a sense of ethical responsibility and civic duty alongside individual autonomy. So how can we create an educational system that balances these competing demands and what role do teachers and educators play in this process? How can we ensure that education truly empowers individuals to become active and engaged members of society rather than passive consumers of knowledge? Interesting point. It seems that the key lies in creating an educational system that recognizes the importance of individual creativity and social cohesion, 
da 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 da. Ah, uh, feels like uh, they're getting stuck in a little bit of a loop to me. I mean, the words are new, but the concepts are bouncing around. Um, questions sound insightful, but uh, are we really making progress? Interesting. Let's see uh, one more response from Captain Crunchy Biscuit. See if we're hitting the limits of our little dialogue, at least when it comes to my my patience and curiosity. Aha, uh -huh. not just individual creative but social cohesion. Yeah. Oh, I'm hearing the same things over and over again. Where's this permutation? Do we need to increase the temperature uh, on these little agents to get somewhere? Huh. All right. Well, here was a sampler of how far we got in our little infinite philosophical garden with uh, ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. Uh, maybe this will herald something interesting for uh, engaging with philosophical thought or educational purposes. And there's, of course, a gazillion things you could do. Um, take this into any direction later on. Oh, well, that's enough for me now. Hopefully this was enjoyable for you as well. Uh, let me know what else you might want to see. And don't forget to have a, have a great day.